Hello and welcome to Eurochem TV, where we discuss and demonstrate all things Eurochem. Today's topic is the proper use and application of our 2K Epoxy Primer OxyStick EP21. Two component or 2K Epoxy Primers, such as OxyStick Epoxy Primer, offer best in class adhesion and corrosion resistance to a wide range of surfaces, including bare metal, fiberglass, gel coat, body filler, and existing paint finishes, and even many plastics used in the automotive industry. OxyStick EP21 is currently available in gray, and we will also be adding white and black in the near future. OxyStick EP21 is for use only in areas that do not require low VOC product. Most of the United States does not require a low VOC product, but some areas do, such as most of California, Maryland, Delaware, and potentially other areas as regulations evolve. Always check local regulations before purchasing. Before you start mixing and painting, make sure your parts have been sanded and cleaned properly and conditions are good for painting. To properly prepare your bare metal parts for paint, use Eurochem's SPWG Wax and Grease Remover, then dry sand with any one grit in the P80 to P220 range, followed by cleaning again with SPWG. All other surfaces should be cleaned with SBWG, sanded with any one grit in the P220 to P400 range, and cleaned again with SBWG. For more details on the proper use of surface cleaners, refer to our video tech sheet for surface cleaners on our website or here on Eurochem TV. As with any automotive finish, proper painting conditions are important for obtaining the best results. Epoxy primers tend to be less tolerant of cold conditions an OxyStick EP21 should not be used if your part, material, or shop temperature is less than 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind that the conditions outside are brought into your paint booth through your booth intake. Moisture should be a concern when applying automotive finishes, so unless your paint booth has the ability to heat your parts well above the dew point, you should not paint when it is raining, dew on the ground, or fog in the air. Parts painted at temperatures near the dew point can easily condensate thin layers of moisture which are often not visible on the surface or in the paint film itself but can cause failure of the finish so it's best to wait until you can paint in proper conditions. Remember, air temperature does not directly correlate to the surface temperature of your project. Once you have your parts properly prepared and the conditions are good for painting, start by wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment and only use this product in areas that are free of ignition sources such as heat, sparks, or open flames. OxyStick EP21 mixes a one-to-one -one by volume with EPA Activator. Eurochem branded mixing cups have a column specifically for a one-to-one -one mix ratio. Simply pour the desired amount of primer to the number in the one-to-one -one column you select based on how much material you need. Then add EPA activator slowly on top of that to the corresponding number working left to right in the column. So if you fill primer to the number three, you will fill the EPA to the number three in the row immediately to the right. The numbers in the mixing column do not relate to volume, they are simply reference points. For more information on paint mixing cups, refer to our video on how to use Eurochem paint cups. An additional 10% Eurochem urethane reducer can be added if you would like. Once you have added the primer and activator mix well with a paint stick, scraping the sides and bottom of the cup occasionally will ensure all the materials is thoroughly mixed. For best atomization and flow and leveling, we recommend 1.3 to a 1.5 millimeter fluid tip and spray pressure set to 22 to 30 PSI at the trigger for gravity fed HVLP spray guns or 40 to 55 PSI for siphon fed spray guns. For reduced pressure spray guns, refer to the manufacturer's recommendations for a good starting point. Each time you use your paint gun, it is a good practice to screw the fluid adjustment clockwise all the way to hand tight. Then count the rotations as you turn it counterclockwise to open it up. With EP21 OxyStick Primer, four full rotations out from hand tight is generally a good starting point. 
This may vary depending on your setup. Test spray and check your pattern. Your spray pattern should be a tight and uniform ellipse shape. Once you have a good spray pattern, spray a test panel to make sure the product flows well and you're happy with your settings. Now, apply two to three medium wet to wet coats with 50% overlap, a six to eight inch fan pattern at approximately a six inch standoff or distance from the surface is a general recommendation. Be sure to allow 15 minutes flash times between each coat to avoid solvent entrapment. After your last coat, clean your gun immediately with a suitable cleaning solvent, lacquer thinner, acetone, or MEK. Check local regulations for compliant gun cleaner options. OxyStick EP21 requires two hours at 75 degree Fahrenheit cure time before top coating and may be top coated without sanding for up to 48 hours. Wait at least 24 hours before adding any body filler product over OxyStick primer. Then sand and clean with SVWG. That's a wrap for our video on the proper use of the OxyStick EP21 epoxy primer. This product and many more are available online at www.thecoatingstore.com or ask your local auto paint dealer to contact us to become a stocking distributor. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Uric MTV, so you don't miss other great videos.